Okay, uh, so today I'm going to show you how to adjust the idle speed on your air-cooled Volkswagen engine um, with a 34 picked 3 carb. Um, I have an EMPI carb in here, uh, which is a it's, a it's a clone of like an older uh, Solex carb. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, so we're going to we're going to adjust the, the speed on this on this engine here today. So what the, the reason we need to, to set the idle speed is that when the engine warms up, uh, when the choke is fully open, um, it's it's got basically like its lowest fuel supply possible. So you, you still want the engine to run at a decent speed um, when when the choke is open and when the engine is fully warmed. Um, there's a couple of reasons for that, you know, when you're stopped at traffic lights, uh, you don't want the engine to die, to be starved of fuel, obviously. You want to keep it at a good RPM, so good high RPMs. Um, also, if it's if the idle is slightly too low, uh, your engine can overheat because, remember, these are air-cooled engines, so it depends on the fan speed, and it needs uh, it needs a decent volume of air to keep it from keep it from overheating. So you want to keep the engine spinning at a good speed to stop that from happening. Um, so yeah, the, the reason we adjust, uh, the, sorry, the way we adjust the, the uh, idle speed is there's two screws on these carburetors. There's uh, a bypass screw, which is a, uh, a larger a larger screw, um, and then there's a smaller, a much smaller screw called the volume screw, um, and they they work in concert to kind of regulate the uh, regulate the speed of the uh, the speed of the engine. Um, there's a couple of other things as well that, that regulate that. There's the um, choke as well the automatic choke um and the the there's a screw on the end of the uh on the end of the accelerator which sits on a, a cam a stepped cam which is uh, related to the the choke as well and the position of that screw is important as well so um yeah all those kind of things need to be adjusted uh, uh properly to to get the engine to idle well so um we're just going to adjust the the two the the bypass and volume screws because I've, I've I have the choke and the the uh, stop screw um, on the accelerator set already so um, I know that's good uh, but yeah we'll just, what we're gonna do is we're gonna reset these these two screws to kind of a baseline setting um, and that involves bottoming both of them out um, not too tight because the threads are quite delicate in there. I think the carb is made of aluminium, maybe even or some kind of soft metal, so you don't want to strip the threads in there. Um, because then, yeah, you'd obviously have to retap your carb or do something crazy like that. There's, I think there's also seals in there as well. You don't want to put too much pressure on those either and cause a vacuum leak. So, yeah, we'll just tighten them out until they, they can't turn, um, turn them in until they can't turn anymore. Um, and then we're going to back them both out two and a half turns. So, what you need for this uh, task is obviously. Two, two flat bladed screwdrivers, uh, a bigger one for the bypass screw, and then a smaller one to fit into the, the volume screw. Um, and also helps as well if you have uh, a timing gun with a, a tachometer, or even if you have a, just a tachometer or something on its own, because then you can monitor the revs as well. So otherwise, you'd be kind of doing it by ear a little bit. Um, but yeah, it really helps if you have one of these, because you can see where you are and if you're going off base when you're adjusting it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to screw these two screws in here now and back them off two and a half turns each. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll, we'll start the engine and let it warm up and then start the adjustment. So I'm just going to go in here and lighten these two screws up. Alright, both the uh both screws are bottomed out now, so I'm just going to pull them, pull them back out about two and a half turns. So I've got the big one here. Um, so let's start with that. So there you turn uh, counterclockwise. Do the same on the volume screw. The volume screw is a little fiddlier, it's harder to see exactly what you're doing. Get closer. Having a light helps as well. Okay. So now the two screws are backed out. They're in their default position. Um, so we're going to hook up the tachometer here to the engine, and then we're going to start the engine and let it warm. 
Let it warm until the, the choke here is fully open. Um, that's important. Uh, check that your choke is connected as well before you start because that will throw things off. Yeah, so we're going to get the engine started now and then start adjusting the idle. There. So we've got her in around uh, about 1,000 RPMs, uh, or between that and 1,150. So it sounds okay at the moment. Um, a little bit chubby, but like it's running quite well, much much better than it was. It's idling property now. So um, yeah, so let's uh, let's turn the engine off then. Okay, we're finished adjusting now, and um, I've got that to about 1,000 RPMs there. Um, like every, well, it kind of cycles between 1,000 and 1,150 RPM. The engine will, you know, the engine will go up and down, you know, in two different kind of waves. Uh, but like the high idle, the highest point is about 1,150. Um, it seems a little bit high, but like to be honest, it's it's really uh, it's really down to the wherever your engine is happiest. Like that, it's not, you know, it's not chugging too much, and it's running at. Um, it's running at a decent speed, you know, it's running smoothly. It's, uh, yeah, it's really down to whatever your, uh, way your engine is happiest. Like, I've, I've seen some figures suggested, like, uh, people saying that, you know, you, know, you should set it down to, like, 800 or 850. It seems a little bit low for this engine, but really, like, there's no perfect figure. But anything, let's say, between 800 and 1,000 uh, or, or so RPMs is, is good uh, for these engines. Um, but again, yeah, it's, it's down to your own engine, really. Um, wherever it's wherever it's sitting, well, um, so yeah, that's uh, that's it for now. Um, yeah, hope you find this hope you find this procedure uh, procedure useful, you know. And um, yeah, thanks uh, thanks again for watching. And I'll see you in another video.